In today's Great Escape, we're hiking to a hidden waterfall in the Finger Lakes. Welcome fellow adventurers, today we're hiking Tinker Falls, a hidden gem so hidden even all trails doesn't cover it. Hidden gems are kind of my thing, so like and subscribe for more. We're covering the Tinker Falls Trail and the Hang Glider Launch Trail today. These trails are part of a larger system, so don't get lost when you're there. There's about three off-road parking spots along the main highway. Tinker Falls Trail is just under a mile along a flat gravel path. The Hang Glider Launch Trail can't be found on all trails, but it is easy to navigate and find. It starts at the trailhead, but veers immediately up to the left. It's a 2.5 mile out and back trail with 650 feet of elevation and takes about an hour and a half to complete. The hike to the base of Tinker Falls is flat and easy. People bring their kids and dogs here all the time to play in the waterfall base. I've seen people push strollers across this path also. Water flow fluctuates. Sometimes it's easier than others to tiptoe across the stream without getting your shoes soaked. You cross the stream and then head to the waterfall base. Sometimes bits of the forest fall down and make it harder than normal. Hikers can get fairly close to the base. In some years, you've been able to stand right where the water falls and hits the stone, but conditions aren't always favorable for that. When we went for this particular hike, the stone steps were covered with mossy water, making it more slippery than I've encountered before. These stone steps are usually pretty easy to climb, but again, during the time of this footage, they were very slippery, as you can see by me scrambling up them. They were completely soaked and super mossy for whatever reason. It smells wet dog. It does, yeah, I noticed it. The going was easy once we got to the rock overhang. Here, hikers get to walk along a narrow gravel path under a rock overhang and walk behind the waterfall. Flow varies a lot depending on rain, so come during a wet season or after a large storm for a good flow. Sometimes it becomes just a trickle. The path is pretty narrow and steep, so mind your step. You know what's really cool is when I did behind the flume frozen. Well, I mean, when oh, this, yeah. I mean, it's cool when this is frozen over, but we did that other one, and it was like an ice cave. Yeah, that was awesome. I've never seen anything quite like that. No. I mean, and, and you don't think to go see a waterfall in the winter. Why would you, right? Unless you've done it before. Here, the first winter I was here, I took Celia here uh -huh. and we came and we checked this out, but it was not like that. And it was early December, so it seems like you gotta wait until like February yeah. or January for that to kind of happen. You can also climb up alongside of Tinker Falls and stand on the top of the waterfall where the creek starts. Here is the view from the top of Tinker Falls where we just hiked looking down. From here, you can hike a narrow steep path up from Tinker Falls to the Hang Glider Launch Trail. Much of the Hang Glider elevation is early on and the trail doesn't have great views until the top, so this is a good way to avoid that extra work and get a better experience if what you're after is views and not exercise. The path is all gravel and dirt and the elevation gains happen abruptly in the beginning. Again, that bit of the trail is all uphill with few good views in the journey, so there's no footage of that. I mean, why bother? You don't want to look at that, do you? The good views are at the very top at the launch. The Hang Glider launch provides a very scenic viewpoint with sweeping views of the Labrador Hollow unique area below, including a pond. There are other connected trails from here that lead to a greater path system, but I've only ever done these two trails. There was nothing more that I really wanted at the time. But I have come back during all seasons to see the waterfall. I think it's important to include here that waterfalls are a seasonal experience that change with rainfall also, so it's important to keep coming back. Visiting Tinker Falls during the snowy upstate New York winters were just as rewarding as summer visits. The flat waterfall path made it easy to navigate during the winter. The icicles can be amazing, and if the temperatures are cold enough, the waterfall can freeze over completely for ice climbing. 
if there's some water flow and it's cold enough, the waterfall can also generate its own mist or snow that will cover the forest area, making it its own winter wonderland. Because the area is very hilly, if you come at the right time when conditions are right, there will also be lots of fog in the area, which changes the atmosphere too. I highly recommend visiting waterfalls during the winter if you haven't yet, including Tinker Falls. And that's all you really need to know about this hidden waterfall in the Finger Lakes region to get the most of your experience. What do you think? Is this the best locals only waterfall in the area? There certainly are a number of them. Comment below your favorites. Thanks for stopping by everyone. Like and subscribe for more hidden gems in the area to never miss out. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and I'll catch you on the next great escape. You don't want to miss it.